are in offer in UK and we'll continue the questions from our audience because we've got quite a lot of questions from the audience. So let's go to the next question, please. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm Anna, uh, MD Musaddi Hussain. Uh, actually, I'm going to say that I'm a person that could go to the court. Right. We're going to go to the court. We're going to go to the court. We're going to go to the जब <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, I, would like, I would like to ask a question on behalf of all student. Um, okay. For which courses I can have the government grants or government fran or funds any, anywhere? It is important, I think, because um, uh, a lot of students, especially um, uh, those who wants to go to university, but it, because they cannot pay university fee because it's quite expensive, so. Are they, for them, are the doors are closed? Not really. Government is giving kind of help, support for those who cannot really pay for the fee, especially university fee. So among us today in the audience, there's a guest who is a director of a college also his college is providing a lot of facilities, a lot of courses. Let's be introduced with him. Assalamu alaikum, Rajiv bhai. Assalamu alaikum, Mahab bhai. Thank you. I have a question to answer. I have a question to how you can. First, you tell me about your um, uh, institute, about your uh, college, uh, and this thing about grant and whatever is the financial help government is offering. ओके थैंक यू महोबा आपने के थैंक्स जाना चाहिए आपने उन्नत ठने आम के इनवाइट करो चाहिए आई एम बीन प्रिविलेज्ड दिस इज अ रियली इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन नाउ इट इज बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल वेयर प्रोबली यू डोंट हैव टू पे एट ऑल Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to pay partial, and sometimes uh, you can take loan mm -hmm. uh, if you are not eligible uh, in the in, in uh, first two cases. Okay. Um, universities, uh, we know universities is uh, giving grants and scholarship and all those things, but um, it's it's really uh, it's really hard to get into that uh, because it's only probably top um, five persons get the scholarships okay. and um, grants. Um, government has introduced um, the loan program, which is uh, through student loan finance. Okay. Uh, this is really interesting, and um, uh, so uh, the government uh, give this loan for uh, two different so for full-time students and part-time students as well. Okay. For full-time students, uh, students can get a loan uh, up to nine thousand pounds a year. Okay. And for part time, it is uh, six thousand seven hundred and fifty okay. pounds per year. Uh, apart from the loan, uh, student can get the maintenance as well. Okay. The maintenance fund is um, uh, past students can get up to uh, 
10,702 pounds. Okay. Uh, but maintenance funds depends on his financial condition, financial status. Okay. So there is a t calculator of if, if, if anybody goes to the mm -hmm. student finance website, mm -hmm. then he can calculate. It, it, it will ask a lot of questions, um, okay. how much you earn, how much you spend, so all those stuff, all sort of things. Then uh, uh, there are some other supports which mm -hmm. uh, government uh, giving. Um, if you are a disabled student, you, you can get more funds. Uh, if you are, if you got children, mm -hmm. if you got adult, um, um, uh, if you if you've got uh, um, your your partner. Okay. Uh, uh, so this uh, this actually add up your uh, uh, how much money you can get okay. uh, from from the funding. Okay. Uh, Is any uh, immigration status also involved in this one? Uh, yes, uh, okay. uh, I, I, will, I will come to the eligibility criteria. Okay, okay. let's discuss eligibility criteria now. Um, it's um, uh, f to get the loan, you have to be UK residents or EU citizen. Okay. Um, uh, you have been. You have to stay. If you are EU, EU citizen, you have to stay there for at la la over the last three years. Okay. You have to prove. For for e EU e citizen. EU. EU, yes. Okay. And settled person also uh, can uh, apply for the loan. Mm. Uh, so this is uh, based on the nation, uh, based on your uh, citizenship and um, status in, 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 uh, in immigration UK. Immigration status. Uh, immigration status in UK. And second thing is uh, there is no age limit. Okay. Uh, uh, That's if quite encouraging. So yes. Even you can, if you are 50 plus, you still can 60, get 70 it doesn't matter. <laughs> you are <laughs> yes, you are eligible for the loan. But thing is, you cannot get maintenance uh, grant or, or fund for this uh, if you are um, more than 60 years of age. So if somebody is working and uh, wants to um, do a part-time course, will he get that? Yes, of course, of course. Uh, I, I mentioned it's before. It's not necessarily he has to be unemployed. No, no, it's he not can necessary. He be an employee it's and still, you're earning money and still can do a course. Yes, and yes. And so funded by government. Yes. That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can uh, still uh, get your uh, loan uh, if, you are, uh, if you are employed. Okay. And some of the interesting course, uh, some of the courses, which is uh, kind of NVQ, and uh, you can work, mm -hmm. and your 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 assessment can be done at your workplace. Okay. Um, so this is uh, also an option uh, for, for for the students, okay. uh, where where he he will be working, he will be uh, attending minimum number of hours mm -hmm. um, uh, in 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 institution and he can get a uh, diploma. Mm -hmm. um, students can, uh, a student can get a uh, loan for access of higher education or any diploma courses or any bachelor's courses. Okay, that's very interesting. A lot to take. Um, I'm sure that those who are watching this program, um, the viewers at home, uh, even the audience uh, here, uh, will get a lot of information. I, uh, even something I, I learned today um, that it's quite encouraging. And this is, uh, this is uh, as um, when we came to this country, um, one thing I heard that it's a country for education is England is the best place. I think it's true again that even if you're getting financial support uh, to, do a, to develop your career. So, um, the, I mean, and these courses you are mentioning, everything also for the accounting courses, of course. Yeah. Of course, of yeah. course. This is uh, the 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 the, uh, the the way it's designed. Uh, it covers all the all the areas. Mm -hmm. So accountancy, it's, it's a one of the most important area for career development. You're not saying just because you are here for accounting no, program. <laughs> no, no, I I am I am not. Right, I'm okay. not Mahobai okay. because okay. I'm I'm also chartered manager. So right, I've, got okay. have, I've, I've got I've I've got fascination about management. Okay. Um, uh, the reason I'm I'm talking uh, about uh, it's it's very easy to get into the profession if you are if you are a qualified accountant okay. uh, compared to management and other other areas of business. Thank you, thank <laughs> you so much for your uh, input. Um, I'm sure all we are all been, been benefited from this. Uh, we'll, I'll take another question from the audience, uh, please. Um, um, is the next question, please. Um, Yeah, uh, you have to take the microphone, yeah. 
you have to hold the microphone uh, assalamu alaikum sir amar naam salim khan okay ekhane ashar jonno dhonnobad invite korar jonno apni ashar jonno dhonnobad ja ei fund er course er kono boyosher badhyoshima ache ashole এটা নাই এটা আমি আসলে আনসারটা আমি দিয়ে দিচ্ছি আপনাকে সেটা হচ্ছে আপনার বয়স যাই হোক না কেন আপনার অ্যাডাল্ট হলেই আপনি এই কোর্সটার ফান্ড পাবেন আর কি সুতরাং এটা আপনার সবার জন্যই এবং এটা এটা খুবই ইন্টার আমি একটু অ্যাড করি এখানে সেটা হলো যে বিভিন্ন ধরনের কোর্স আছে তো কিছু আছে স্কিলস ডেভেলপমেন্টের জন্য যেগুলো সিক্সটিন প্লাস হইতে হয় অ্যাপ্রেন্টিস প্রোগ্রামের জন্য সিক্সটিন প্লাস হইতে হয় কিছু কোর্স আছে পিউরলি অ্যাডাল্টদের জন্য কিছু আছে টোয়েন্টি ফোর প্লাসের জন্য টোয়েন্টি ফোর না হইলে তারা ওই কোর্সগুলা করতে পারে না তো ডিপেন্ডিং অন দ্য কোর্স কোন ধরনের কোর্সগুলো করবে তার উপরে এইজের একটা ব্যাপার থাকে বাট অ্যাটলিস্ট সিক্সটিন হইতে হবে डिप्लोम चूज कर আবার ডাইরেক্ট না হয় এমন হতে পারে যে তাদের অ্যাটলিস্ট সাম সর্ট অফ রিলেশন আছে যার মাধ্যমে তারা আপনাকে এমপ্লয়ারের সাথে ইন্ট্রোডিউস করাইতে পারবে আবার এমন অনেক ইনস্টিটিউশন আছে যারা আপনাকে হয়তো সিভি রাইটিং এর ক্ষেত্রে মক ইন্টারভিউর ক্ষেত্রে সাহায্য করবে যেটা আপনার কনফিডেন্স গ্রো করবে তো আপনি আপনার কোর্সগুলো চুজ করার সময় এই ধরনের ইনস্টিটিউশন দেখবেন যারা আপনাকে প্র্যাকটিক্যালি জব এর জন্য রেডি করে দিতে পারবে थैंक यू ভাই পরবর্তী কোশ্চেনটা প্লিজ হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ডিউরেশন অফ দ্য কোর্সেস अवेलेबल রাইট আম डिरेशनिंगेशनिंगेर কিন্তু যদি আমরা ওভারঅল কোর্সগুলা ধরি নরমালি ডিপ্লোমাগুলা এক বছরের ডিপ্লোমা হয় আবার আমরা যদি লেভেল 3 কোর্স যেগুলো আছে বা ফাদার এডুকেশন ওটা 6 মান্থস হতে পারে ডিউরেশন 9 মান্থস হতে পারে এক বছরও হতে পারে সো এটা পিওরলি ডিপেন্ড করতেছে যে কি ধরনের কোর্স করবে এবং কোথায় করতেছে তার উপরে ওকে সো ইটস রিয়েল ডিপেন্ডস পরবর্তী কোশ্চেন নেক্সট প্লিজ হোয়াট ইজ এ ভোকেশনাল কোর্স রাইট আই'ল গিভ ইট आंसर ভোকেশনাল কোর্স আম আই this vocational uh, course is designed that you work you study along with your work experience so is your primary objective is not to teach you or giving your academic qualification also they will train you up to when you finish that course you are more or less ready to start your work so even if there will be conditions sometimes that you have to get training relevant um, uh, the, the, uh, field from either from a, uh, an employer um, or from industry uh, from a practice and and that without that you will not get your qualification so this course, course especially one thing i can mention this at is a vocational course which is technician level and um, um th- this is uh, very useful especially those who are school leavers they don't have any even you don't have formal um qualification uh, formal um education you still can start a vocational course and government at the moment is encouraging because of the they can see sense that a lot of people are not going towards uh, university education because of their financial reason and other reasons they are not going so they are encouraging people to go for vocational course and this is very popular at the moment okay what's the next question please right um uh, i got question is uh, can i move or switch from one course to another what are the options available to me once i finish my current course yes 
Thank you for your question, Mahbub. Uh, yes, obviously, you can move from one course I, to I another. I thought that you were talking to me. <laughs> oh, no, this is that <laughs> okay. uh, Obviously, you can move from one course to another. Say, all the courses belong to the national qualification framework. So if you finish something, let's say, uh, say for um, level four, that, that is AAT, obviously, you will try to move to level five. You can, fr choose from, you can move from one body to another. That will give you the further education. Say, same with this one, say the AAT, if you finish AAT, then you can move to the ICAEW. You can be a chartered accountant, you can be an ACA. The same with that, say if you finish the ACCA, what was the next for you? You might choose to be specialized in tax, then you can do the CTA. So there's no limitation. Even if you say finish the ACCA and all those things, you can still can move from one uh, body to another body. So if you're interested in financial compliance and regulations, then you can move to CISI, all those sort of things. So is there is a wide opportunity. You're not restricted to one single body. That will help you, I hope. Right. OK. Um, um, before we go for a video, uh, we have got one more video to watch uh, in this segment. And then the uh, next segment also has one interesting video we have. Um, oh, I'm going to take uh, one more question, please. Uh, what is an apprenticeship program, and how does it work? And how could it be beneficial for employers? Very interesting question. Apprentice. Lost sugar, you know that. <laughs> right. Um, um, you don't have to go to Lost Sugar to do apprenticeship. Um, we have got so many, uh, um, uh, I mean, accountancy practice, uh, even some colleagues are involved to do that one. Um, I'm, I'll go short, uh, very quickly, I'll, uh, before we haven't got much time um, for this segment to break. Um, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, let's see, I'll watch the video first, then I'll, I'll go to one of our guests, is am, among us, uh, who is going to uh, give you that answer, uh, apprenticeship. Okay, let's watch the video. This is a repeat of the same video we have been uh, we watched uh, before. So uh, we'll um, very soon we'll uh, see the right video. Um, so um, we among us. Okay, let's go to that um, apprenticeship. Um, we've got a guest here um, among us. He is the owner of um, a college. He's the director of a college. Uh, he's very famous. Um, um, it's um, a college in Bengali community at the moment, and uh, one of the best colleges, uh, I should say it, because uh, what I know of. Um, um, Mr. Sakib, yeah? Um, what uh, are the, um, I mean, what do you offer regarding apprenticeship? I mean, how this could be arranged, if you could explain to us. And if, just talk about a little bit about yourself as well. Uh, I am in London Churchill College in 2010. I am in London Churchill College. We are educating the community. I am in HD provision run coach level 4 5. I am in business, a, computing, health and social care, uh, and hospitality management. Besides that, I am in apprenticeship program. So, I am in apprenticeship program. I am in the apprenticeship program. Uni qualified accountant as well. Uni the kind of Amaman Haji Uni is the best person. Okay, okay, answer. that's fine. Okay, thanks for your introduction, anyhow. Okay, Nazim Shah. Thank you very much. An excellent question. Uh, I'll just give a context before I answer the question. Okay. Um, 
the brother has explained about different funding arrangements that we have in the UK. Uh, mainly there are two suites of funding available. One is uh, skill funding agencies fund generally level two, level three, and in some cases level four programs. And higher education funding is actually uh, not paid by skills funding agencies, but the amount is uh, uh, controlled by BIS, and it's paid by uh, students' loan company. Uh, so for example, if you want to study a level two course, uh, you would not be able to get funding from uh, students' loan company, and those programs will not be delivered at universities. Mm. But at London Churchill, I'm a director of the company. Uh, we have funding available for anyone over 16 years of age. So if anyone wants to study, let's say a level two course in accountancy or any other field, come to us and then uh, you'll be able to study with us. The fees will be paid by skills funding agency. And uh, what is the apprenticeship? Now the question is, <coughs> uh, of course we, we now have a bit of uh, uh, gap between uh, theory and, uh, and the job. Yeah. So there is a knowledge gap. Uh, yeah. So the, the colleges, yeah. like, uh, uh, colleges like London Churchill College, we have employers forum. Uh, so employers come to us every six months mm -hmm. and we have a dialogue with them. So the courses that we design are designed in consultation with the employers and any students who study with us, they are placed with the employers. So the apprenticeship program, the purpose of the apprenticeship program is we'll deliver the theories, we'll place the students in workplace, so they learn in workplace setting. And uh, uh, so for example, a student have to attend, let's say about three days at, at the college and they can work two days with an employer. So they will not only learn the theories at the college, they will be able to apply those theories. And when okay. they are making those application, they may have some further questions. So they, can, they come back to the college and ask questions to the lecturer. And the lecturers will then uh, be able to explain them and relate those theories into the practice. Okay. Now the question is, uh, are you eligible to study? Of course, everyone is eligible in the UK. If you are uh, because until 16 years of age, everybody has to go to primary school. That's a compulsory uh, school's age. So we do, we do not, for that reason, teach anyone under 16. If you're over 16, come to us. We'll arrange funding for you. The program, the, uh, it will last for 12 months. Uh, you have to sort of study for 12 months. Okay. And at the end of the I study, you get a certificate have, from Pearson. I have to interrupt the, uh, here yeah, because uh, yeah. the time is up. I will come back to you. Definitely, okay. it's very interesting, something we definitely learn from here. Um, we have to take a break and this is the last break um, and after this break uh, anybody from uh, home or wherever you can uh, ring us and ask any questions relevant to this program. Let's take a break. Thank you.